is the Belt Supergroup. The Belt Supergroup, Belt Series, or aka the Belt Purcell Basin, is a huge basin that stretches acro across western Montana, northern Idaho, and into eastern Washington and Canada. Historically, it was filled by sand, silt, clay, and carbonate sediments that range from 15 to 20 kilometers thick. These sedimentary structures were deposited 1.5 to 1.4 billion years ago. Holy cow! Based on the principle of superposition, the bottom layers of sediments are older than the layers above them. The belt series consists of four main areas as follows. The lower belt, the Rivoli group, the Piagan group, and the Missoula group. The lower belt group, located in the panhandle portion of Idaho, consists of the Alton, Apokone, Chamberlain, Newland, La Hood, Table Mountain, Grayson, and mainly Pritchard Formation in the United States. These, are these areas tend to consist of southwest deep water clastic and turbidite wedges, a type of sedimentary rock composed of layered particles that grade upward from coarser to finer sizes and are thought to have originated from ancient turbidity currents in the oceans. Additionally, these portions of the lower belt are abundant with mafic sills. The Rivoli group, located primarily in the Coeur d'Alene district of Idaho, is composed of the Burke, Rivette, St. Regis, Spokane, and Grinnell Formation in the United States. These portions of the Rivoli group are, in total, a subaerial clastic wedge with a southwest derived fluvial uh, deltatic complex. The Piagan group, residing mainly along the Idaho Montana border, by Coeur d'Alene includes the Wallace, Helena, and Empire Formation in the United States. The Piagan group at one time was a lacustrine or marine setting now currently composed of a cyclic carbonate as well as mafic and felsic lavas. Finally, the last portion of the Belt Supergroup is known as the Missoula Group gaining its name from Missoula, Montana. This group is located primarily in Montana. However, it does cover portions of Idaho directly below the Panhandle. The Missoula group consists of the Striped Peak, Libby, Mountain Shields, Bonner, McNamara, Garnett Range, and Pilcher Formation in the United States. It is a south slash east derived fluvial succession and contains fluvial clastic wedges. Ultimately, the Belt Series at one point was the largest Middle Proterozoic basin on the North American continent. Since this basin was periodically connected to Earth's main ocean, sediments in the ocean water would deposit themselves on the floor of the basin resulting in the formations of the present-day Belt Supergroup. Pretty cool stuff. When the ocean began to decrease in sea level, it left the basin to dry out. This drying process has resulted in frequent findings of mud cracks and ripple marks all along the Belt Series in Idaho. Following the slow process of the basin's drying phase, Rifting initiated and the full basin formed. Subsequent faulting and folding within the Idaho-Montana Thrust Belt plus intrusion of the Neoproterozoic, Ordovician, Cretaceous, and Eocene magma affected the belt supergroup and allowed it to become the belt series we know of today. Several features of the Belt Supergroup include mud cracks and ripple marks that we mentioned prior, as well as molar tooth structures, which are carbonate-filled bubbles and gas expansion cracks. 
Also, alluvial aprons and sedimentary layers. As a result of the formation of the belt series, major ore deposits, gold, silver, and lead can frequently be found in the lower belt and Rivoli formations. These ore deposits are mined for aluminum, gold, cobalt, and copper, natural resources that we typically use in our day-to-day -day lives. Overall, the Belt Series, for most, is an undiscovered treasure that many would have never realized was in their own backyard. <laughs>